I got to be good friends with the engineer and uh, who had been working with them before me, Joe Barisi, and uh, he said that they they kept coming in and putting down this Flaming Lips record and saying, "Make it sound like that, make it sound like that." And finally, like, he just said, "Why don't you call that guy and get off my back?" So I had certainly never worked with anybody so successful. Wait, who was working on the last one? Rick Ocasek? Right, okay. I mean, I knew I wasn't producing, but still, it, it was big shoes to fill, and I was definitely very nervous about the whole thing. They were very early adopters of, of technology, uh, which was interesting to me, and they they mixed a, they had a strange marriage of old and new school. So I'd never worked with anybody that could even afford to consider this possibility. I think we went through like 30 reels of tape in the two weeks I was there, and that represented, you know, four record budgets for me. They'd record a song nine times, and it would be completely different each time. And then they'd have me edit them together. They'd sit down with a list and show me all these edit points they wanted to make, and I would edit the tape together into one complete take, and then they'd decide whether they liked that or not. And if not, then they'd do nine more takes and keep going like this until in, until they were done. Yesterday I went outside With my mama's missing jar Caught a lovely butterfly Butterfly, which was very strange. Rivers, he, he, was, he kept telling me this whole time, the whole time we were recording, I got this other song, but we're just going to wait till the time is right. And apparently the right time was 4 a.m. on the last night. He finished the first take, and that was the first I heard it. And I just got on the talk back and said, are you sure you want to say that to people? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I'm sure. I'm like, okay, good. But because uh, I was like, that's amazing, but I, I can't believe you're being this honest and open and unguarded in life, let alone on a record that's about to go out. <laughs> 